Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Coast here. And in today's software tutorial, we're gonna cover ratings, how you can enable your users to submit ratings, and also how you can display ratings in your list details block. So the setup here is that uh, we have a short list of user submitted co coffee shops in London. And if I click on one of the coffee shops, you can see a name, an image, a Google map embed, which I covered in a previous tutorial and also a rating. Um, so to display these and also to enable your users to be able to submit a rating, you first need to set up a field uh, in the type of rating in your Airtable database. So you have to add a field and make sure the field type is rating. Um, and for style, I didn't change anything. For this number, basically this number tells you that what is the rating is gonna be out of. So for my case, I just pick five. So that means all the ratings users submit is gonna be out of five. And the simple idea here is that this field, even though it looks like a very complicated field that's, uh, that's with the style, actually, as long as your users can submit a number uh, into this field, then it will be properly displayed uh, well. But you have to make sure the number it's uh, lower than the range or lower or equal to the max number that you have set there. So for my case, um, this field only takes number that's um, five or below. So five, four, three, two, one, zero. And also it doesn't take any decimal places. So it has to be a whole number. So now we have this simple idea and we sort of know as long as we can make a field that user can submit a whole number into this field, then we can properly display the rating. Now let's go back to the software studio uh, editor. This is the homepage. That's a list. And in the list detail block, um, we have all the other field, but what we really care about today is adding a field and make sure the type is rating, uh, give it a label and also plug it in to plug this in to the field that we just made um, in your Airtable database, which I called it rating. Once this is, this is set up, um, you are done with displaying ratings. Now we have to handle how we can enable our users to submit the ratings. So leave, let's leave the rest of the field uh, untouched. And also I'm not going to talk about those because they're irrelevant. So there are two ways that I found that you can submit and make your user to be able to submit ratings. One, which is my preferred way to do it is using the drop down. So you make a drop down and you give it an option from zero to five using semicolon to separate them. And basically what I did here is just give the user five, uh, six options, including zero. Uh, that means the user can pick from zero to five and then make then basically what, whatever the number they picked and submitted um, software is, is going to display uh, the value they put and make it out of five. So if the user submit five and then the rating is going to be five out of five, you get the gist of it. Uh, so once we have these, make sure that in the tag input, we input rating because that is the field name that I set here. So make sure that this is the same as the field that you want this value to be populated to. Uh, a second way to do these, which I personally don't recommend, but it's doable. Uh, it's just make a simple single line text input. Um, but what you have to do is like, you have to explain to a user that only put whole numbers that's below or equal to five in this field. Um, otherwise, whatever they input here, if they input like uh, text, uh, then that's not going to work. If they input anything that's above five, but for your case, your maximum number is five, then that's not going to work. Uh, and, or if they put a decimal place in uh, for uh, a decimal place, then that's not going to work neither. So these doing the single line text way just basically means that you have a lot more work to do, to a lot more explanation to do, to make sure that a uh, user actually submit a valid number into these. So I don't recommend this. I feel like drop down, it's a way better way and way more robust way. In this case, user would never submit something that's invalid. So yeah, I prefer this way. So let's take a look at the result. So basically if the user come into the submit form, 
they put a random cafe name and back code. I'm gonna just leave it, leave it blank. I'm not gonna submit anything here. And then upload image, I'm not gonna do that neither. And right now, what I can do is use rate these. And then I'm just gonna give this random cafe a three. Now, if I submit it, and if I go back to my Airtable database, you will be able to see that my database is now populated. And if I go back to the, um, the homepage, we can see these random cafe without an image, and then we can see the rating here. And there you have it. This is how you can set up your software application and also your Airtable database to enable your users to rate things on your software application and also how you can display the ratings on your software web application. Hope this video helped. And if you liked this video, feel free to like it, share it, and also subscribe for more software tutorial coming. I plan to release uh, a bunch of them in the future. So yeah, until then, ciao.